Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Recently, Skylum Software released Update 5 of Luminar Neo. It is now version 1.0.5. In today's video, we're going to talk about what's new and exciting in this, the latest version of Luminar Neo. There was one new thing in this release that I guess you could consider is rather significant and then some other things that aren't as significant. Let's talk about that one thing that is kind of significant. Presets. Presets are now in Luminar Neo. You can look at the top of the different panels. You can see presets are right there in the middle. You could access them by clicking on that or by hitting the T key on your keyboard. The T key is the keyboard shortcut. And when you do that, you'll enter into the presets panel. Over on the right are all the presets. You can see it has a lot of presets built in. For this image, let's go to Waterscapes and you can see that there are six different presets here. Let's add one. I'll click on Soft Fix. And when I do, it applies the preset. And if you don't like this preset and you want to just click on Try Another One, just click on another one. It will overwrite the current preset with the new preset. Also, once you settle on a preset, if you use it a lot, you may want to favorite it. If you favorite it, just click on that heart and you favorited it. Or you could just reset the image by clicking on this kind of circular counterclockwise arrow. But let's just say I like this preset, but I want to tweak it a little bit. So once you decide on a preset, apply it like I just did. And if you want to tweak it, go to the edit panel. Then in the edit panel, you'll see all the edits are there. Go on edits and then you could go here and tweak it from this point forward. So let's say you know, you just want to like dial down the accent a little bit. You know, whatever, whatever you want to do, you'll be able to do. You could touch up your preset. Now, if after you do everything, whether it's a preset or your own editing, and you just want to reset the image and go back to the beginning, go down to the bottom where it says actions and click there and revert to original. And that will just reset the image back to its original edit, which is nothing, right? That's a, a raw file. Now, another new feature that goes along with the presets is you could create your own preset. So let's do that. Let's um, just do a simple edit, a very simple edit. We'll add some accent uh, to the image. Maybe not that much. And let's go down to structure and we'll add some structure. And then let's go down. I wanna make it a little warmer. So let's go down to color harmony and add some warmth. Okay, let's just say this horrid processing I just did that I, let's say, let's pretend I liked it and I want to make a preset with it. So what we'll do now is we'll go down to actions again and you could see save as preset. So we'll click on that and it says my preset by default. I'm going to call it my horrid preset. All right, and we'll click enter. Now I have my own custom preset. So let's check it out. Let's go down to actions and revert to original. So we're resetting the image again. Let it do its resetting. Then we're going to go back to the presets and you could see at the top or near the top, my presets. You also notice favorites. Remember I favorited that one preset? There it is. So we'll go back to my presets and there is my horrid preset. And here I could favorite this as well and I'll add it. So it's applied it. I could reset it by clicking that counterclockwise circular arrow, but also there's three dots here. Those three dar dots aren't on any other preset that's built into Luminar Neo. They're only be on presets that you create yourself. Click on those three dots and you could see that I could edit the preset. I could rename the preset. I could delete the preset altogether or because I have a Mac, it's saying show and finder. If you had a PC, it would show in file explorer. The reason why you may want to find the preset on your hard drive is you may want to share it with someone or maybe you want to create a bunch of presets and sell them online. That way you could find them on, compute, on your computer and then uh, share them any way you want. So that is that. So that is kind of the new major thing, I guess you could say, is they've added a lot of built-in presets and they added the ability for you to create your own preset. Now, let's, um, for the sake of being, revert to original. Now, the other thing I think isn't quite as major, we'll go to the edit panel 
and we'll see develop it says raw because this is a raw file we'll click on that and because it's a raw file it has camera profiles that i could add to it they've now added the ability for you to add your custom dcp files so if you have um, color checker pro or something like that and you have uh, your own dcp file that you need to apply to an image you'll be able to do that in luminar neo as, as well you could do that in luminar neo now so that is new. Now, another thing they say is new, but I can't see what's new about it. Um, so maybe you could help me in the comments below. They said in Mood, they've improved the LUT workflow. It looks identical to me. So maybe it's something they only did for Windows and they didn't do for Mac, or maybe I'm blind. But to me, it looks the same. Uh, you could add a LUT, you could add your own LUT. You download LUT files, it will just take you to Skylum's website and you could buy LUT files. Um, but you could just, I don't know, apply your own LUT. It's, I mean, pretty much what it always was. Color punch hot, something like that. Um, so maybe you could help me. Maybe I'm missing something totally. Maybe I'm blind. Oh, uh, whatever. But uh, I don't like that one. I don't use a lot of LUTs, so that might be why I don't know what I'm talking about. So we'll reset that. So that is the other thing they say is new. They also did some bug fixes and stuff like that. As far as I know, they didn't add any new camera support or any new lens profiles, uh, but um, hopefully that will be in um, future releases. So that's everything that's new in, that I know of at least in the latest version of Luminar Neo. Again, that's 1.0.5. It is a free update for everyone that owns Luminar Neo. To update your Luminar Neo on a Mac, you go up to the Luminar Neo menu and down to check for updates. And I think on a Windows computer, that's under the help menu. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Those of you that have Windows, you could point everyone else into the right or to the right direction for getting their update for Neo. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <music>